This has got to be one of my most favorite cups that I have ever made. I love, I just love all the colors, the sparkle. I love everything about this cup. And then Hello Fall. I, I just think this cup just turned out perfect. It just turned out great. I want to show you guys how to make this cup. This is a mica hatching method and uh, you can use a lot of different colors. You can use, if you don't have the same exact colors that I have, it doesn't matter. You can use different colors and it will just turn out gorgeous, gorgeous. So let me show you how to do this. So I have my Maker Flow cup here and I spray painted it black. It was pre-sanded. Woohoo! I love pre-sanded cups. And I taped off, I measured and I taped off in the middle because my idea requires uh, a tape off here. I mix my epoxy, actually mix 40 mLs, which I'm gonna divide into uh, some little cups and I'm gonna mix different colors to put on for my mica hatching. I know I'm going to use uh, Merlot, Merlot Sparkle Mica. And I am going to use copper sparkle my sparkle mica. Can't talk. I'm going to use luster black. I'm going to use pewter silver, and I'm going to use plum dusk mica. That's what I'm going to start with. And those are all from Brambleberry because I make soap, so I have all of their micas for my soaps. So the same micas that I will use in my soaps, I can use on my tumblers. You don't need to buy different ones. So what I, I'm going to do first is I'm going to do black all over this, black mica um, all over this whole cup. So I'm going to pour off a little bit of my, a little bit of my epoxy into one cup and I'm going to mix in my, I'm going to use my, uh, my black, luster black mica. I'm going to use about this much. I'm going to put it into about 10 mLs. <laughs> really nice and black. And I'm just going to put it on all over the cup. All right, so I'm going to distribute some epoxy to several different cups. let the hatching begin. I think I'm going to start with my gold. I'm just going to start hatching away at my gold. I'm just going to do lines with my gold.
just all random, all random. I'm gonna go with my Merlot Sparkle now, my Merlot Mica Sparkle. And I'm just gonna kinda go right on the same lines, or very close to it. Close to the lines I have. Buy them, beside them, both sides on top of them. Ooh, this is a pretty color. I like this color for fall. down because when you pull down you tend to have like a blob here and then it goes down so I want to pull those blobs up I'm gonna start adding the, the glitters and the glitters are thicker there I'm just gonna put a line like that or start at the top with some. bigger blobs of like right there. The problem with making this type of cup is knowing when to stop. <laughs> That is the hardest part when you're like, okay, it looks beautiful. Should I stop or should I keep going? Should I add more? It just, that's the hardest part of making a cup like this is like, when do I stop? I feel like 
want to keep touching it and touching it. At least I do. And you're probably saying, stop, stop now. Oh, at this place here, I want to put something on there. Wait till it comes around. This one right there, I want to just put a little blob of glitter. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't want to hit it with heat because I want the lines to stay like they are. If I hit it with heat, they'll all start to blend together. So we don't want that to happen. I just really kind of want it to stay how it is right now. because it will change a little bit and I'll take off the tape in the middle and let it dry. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, time to take off the painter's tape around the middle. It's still not dry, so I can't really touch it. Um, you can see there was some seepage in there. That's okay, because we're gonna come and glitter it later. So. And it took off some of the black paint, but again, that's okay. Um, when you put painter's tape around the middle of your cup, you want to draw a line. You don't want to just go around and think it's even because because the cup is not perfectly straight. The, the sides are a little tapered, so on when once you get to the back, you'll actually end up going up the cup a little bit, and you won't actually realize it. So. I just used a jar I had, or I used this, my paint, put it on its side, put a marker on it, and then twisted the cup, sat the cup up, and, and turned it around so I had a perfect line to follow. So we're going to come back and put some glitter on this uh, once the rest of it is dry. Next, the next step is I'm going to glitter right in here. Now this is all dry. Oh, and when you guys were not looking, I actually came back and scattered some little um, color of the wind leaves. I don't know if you can see them or not, but some little leaves around the cup one at a time. I just kind of dropped them on um, to just for the fall look. And these are from um, Mr. Nola's glitter. Oh, I, actually, these are from the glitter guy, but I'm pretty sure like there's everybody that sells glitter would have them. So what I'm going to use for the minnows, I'm going to use a dark purple and I'm going to use Sandy's Organized Chaos, socglitters.com for the middle here. And so I'm just going to put on a little bit of epoxy and I'm just going to use my fingers to just come up to the line and uh, I'm not going to put on, I'm not going to put it on very thick. And I know I have some areas where it's not painted black, but this glitter is a um, a dark glitter, and I think that it'll cover it up fine. Oh, this looks so pretty. I was so torn as to what color to put in the middle. Should I put an orange? Should I put foil? I was going to have different colors of foil. I was thinking maybe I could I'm gonna go over with my finger, just the line. I'm just kind of clean it up. And I'll be putting some pinstriping on it. So even if there it's not perfectly even there, the pinstriping is gonna clean it up and make it look perfect. Spray down with two time ultra matte clear. 
especially because I have the little I have the little leaves on there and they might repel the epoxy so that's why I'm doing the mica powder part as well get a good coat on here and then I'll be epoxying one layer over the whole cup in the middle and I'm just going to take it around my finger like that and not really spread it up or down just kind of spread it across and I'm putting a pretty thick layer on here because it needs to come even with the, the mica the mica levels above and below are a little bit um, higher This will be a good um, uh, layer of epoxy that will try and, and even out the cup. Okay, it's time to sand this beauty. I'm gonna wet my cup. over the purple glitter part in the middle. So I'm just gonna weed it right now. And I'm gonna put three of these in a row around the middle. I already have the first one. I was originally gonna just put one on and I thought, oh my goodness, it looks so pretty. Maybe I'll just go all the way around with the same, the same uh, pattern or the same, the same SVG here. I'll show you the first one. Let me see, can you see that? Okay, there. So three of these will fit on my cup. I already measured it out. And uh, these two, I already spaced them correctly. And this is at, this is number three. You know, to me, when I do the vinyl, that's the hardest part. Getting the right color, the color that you think looks the best. Getting the right size, getting it on the cup right. That's, I always like end up doing it two or three. One cup I, I did like, four times, actually I think it was a pen. Put it on, I didn't like the color. It blended in too much, I put it on again and didn't like that color. And then I ended up like, should I do an offset, should I not? And then I was like, no, I'm not gonna do the offset. And then I put it on and I just wasn't happy with it. And I just should have done the offset right from the beginning with the pen that I was making. Cause then I really liked it after it was done. But it took me like, probably four attempts at getting the color and the size and the font that I wanted. So that to me is the hardest part of making um, something is it's not so much the glitter, it's not the glittering, it's like what size of font, what type of font, how big do you want it? When you put it on the cup, is it laying flat? Is it buckling up because it's big? It's it's a dilemma. But anyway, let's see if I can do the striping once. So I created these stripes using the same vinyl on my Cricut. And I'm going to try and put these on and hopefully I can do it one time and get them on the right way. I need to clean it with alcohol. If you skip the cleaning with alcohol step, you will regret it because you'll have lifting of your vinyl. And I know from experience that's why. Because I've skipped it thinking oh, it's going to be okay. And then my vinyl lifts and it makes a bump. Okay.
Oh, I can't believe I only had to do that once. So should I do this? Or should I do this? Ooh. some on and then I just lightly go over it with my finger making sure I get the edges if you've seen any of my videos I show this in all, almost all my videos just because it's I think it's just so important that it's so discouraging when you have your vinyl lift and this just really keeps it from lifting I'm gonna put this on this cup all around the edges I'm gonna let it dry and then I will be spray painting it with my two times ultra matte clear because if you don't, this shiny vinyl, this shiny tape will repel your epoxy. And you'll be frustrated because you'll have a repelled area. Uh, trust me, I've been there. So I'm gonna let this third of the cup dry. And then I'm gonna turn it and do another third and another third, making sure these edges are really, really sealed very well, okay? After the E6000 um, spray dried, I used my two times ultra matte clear and I sprayed the whole cup again because we don't want to get any bubbles and we don't want to get any repelling and that's the best way to prevent that is to take those extra steps. So I'm going to put on this coat of epoxy and this will be the second last coat of epoxy. I'm sure I'm going to need one more after this one. you guys I've already got some colors in mind to make a winter cup using blues and whites and silvers with a, maybe a blue glitter in the middle but you could really take this design and make it for any season or any like design that you want it's such a versatile cup and always turns out just gorgeous so please subscribe to my channel if you got this far in my video. You'll want to see other ones that are coming. God bless you and have a great day.